Keep on back! Hi, this is Ron from POCculture.com. Emma, how are you? I'm well, thanks. How are you? Great. Congratulations on your upcoming evil villainy. We're all <laughs> excited to see it. Thank you. <laughs> I, I heard you say in the UK press conference that Sean gave you like a pitch of a lifetime. Mm -hmm. And I'm just wondering what you recall about that pitch that really just grabbed and hooked you uh, for this role. Um, yeah, he really did. I will say, Sean Levy is an excellent salesman. I'm pretty sure he could sell me anything under the sun and I'd buy it. Um, and yeah, that was a, certainly the case with this, this role. Obviously, yeah, being Marvel, he couldn't really give me a script or anything. And there was only a certain amount of detail he could go into. Um, but yeah, I think the thing that really hooked me, it was two things really, because I'd watched the Deadpool films before, I'd loved them, you know, you know, so subversive, so clever, really d defining their own genre in a way. And um, what was what's different with this film, I think, is it also has a lot of heart. It's ultimately a story about friendship as well as all that other Deadpool stuff that we know and love. And it has a lot of soul. And he really, you know, pitched that to me and I really connected to that. That's, you know, those are stories that I'm really interested in being a part of telling. And in terms of Cassandra, I think it was that they didn't want to have a predictable villain in this film. They wanted someone who was, yes, cutting and evil and, you know, honor the comics in that way because Cassandra is such a, you know, omega level mutant and capable of so much evil. But they wanted her to be, yeah, very kind of unknowable and quite elusive um, and also very charismatic and charming and sort of really, tr you know, tread that line and yeah that was something I was really in, interested in playing. That's great and of course Cassandra speaking of the history it has that connection with Professor X and I know you said that you actually watched uh, Patrick Stewart's performances and James McAvoy. I was wondering as you watched that what were some of the things that you took from their performances that helped you inform your own? I, I kind of hesitated before I went back to their performances because there's always that thing if you don't want to watch it too closely and then be sort of thinking about that when you're doing your own so much. But because I, Sean and Ryan and I really wanted to make Cassandra feel unique and quite original. Um, but I was really interested in how when a character's powers are so telepathic and internal, how that's portrayed on screen because I feel like we're so used to villains and in their case, I guess, sort of heroes being, wearing their powers outwardly. You know, even like in the case of Deadpool and Wolverine, they perform them so physically. And I really felt like there was a lot to master and quite a lot of possibility and potential in how you can portray someone whose mind is so rich and powerful. So yeah, that's, that was the main thing that I, I looked at that for. That's great. I heard you joke about how it's like you, you give yourself a difficult math problem <laughs> yeah, to, <exactly. laughs> to do the facial. <laughs> Now, did you get a chance to talk with, with Patrick or James or anybody who's done a Marvel film just to get a feel for what to expect diving into this world? No, I didn't actually. Um, and I think that was mainly because Ryan and Hugh and Sean were so generous with their time and advice and um, any kind of pressure or uh, nervousness that I had really fell away the first day I stepped onto set because it was just such a welcoming atmosphere. And Sean always refers to that, this process making this film is like a sandbox you have so much space to play and they really you know support that space and invite you to be a collaborator and to be creative and bring ideas to the table and yeah it was a really incredible process to be a part of I think I learned a lot that's amazing and speaking of Ryan I, I know you've said that he Im improvs a lot um, on, you know on set is there any obviously no spoilers but any moment that you can remember that really stand out as a funny moment where he improv not particularly without giving something away, but I, it is amazing. I mean, like his ability to do that, his mind is always whirring, it's incredible. It's a really unique thing to watch. And yeah, him and Sean would always shoot a, the script, the version of the script, you know, and once they'd got that done and were happy with that, they would, Ryan would always throw things out. And it was a real lesson as an actor to really be flexible. And you have to let a lot of your own shit go, you know? <laughs> you can't really be, attached to any particular thing in a good way you have to be flexible you have to pivot and um, also if you let you, if you let yourself do that you can really be brought into that collaboration and it's a fantastic experience now speaking of collaboration of course this is a universe going forward are there any other marvel characters that you would love cassandra to meet or you know collaborate or even fight with um i think strange i think cassandra and strange would have a really interesting dynamic i'd be fascinated to see what went on there but also cassandra and xavier you know, I think 
what happens when that, you know, when you get family in a room who don't like each other, we all know what happens there. So, yeah. We need to see that. Well, <laughs> congratulations again on your evil turn and uh, thank you for your time. Great chatting with you. Thanks, you too.